So let me show you one other trick that I do with these scales. Like I say, I have two of them, same brand. They both take 9 volt DC power. I have the 150 pound and then I have the 5 pound and I just plug that into this uh, jack splitter and then this gets plugged in here and then I plug the cable for the 5 pound scale in here and then that way I run both of these scales off of one power supply so you can see it still works yeah so I've got the uh, 9 volt power supply here for the scale when we turn it on that's the standby power. I'm not powering the scale right now. The scale is off 1.4 watts and if I turn it on it goes up to 1.7 so at least that way I'm saving 1.4 watts by only having one of these power supplies powering two scales. If I had two of these, one for each scale, I would be up closer to three watts. It's set is rated for six and a half watts, so if I have two scales that only take a third of a watt each, I'm way under the rating of this thing. Use a stereo or a mono headphone jack splitter and power two scales. Ultimately, I want to replace this with a DC to DC step-down converter and run these two scales off of solar power. Okay, here I've got this scale only plugged in and it's off right now. We're still at the same 1.4 watts. So let me hit the power button here. So there's booting up 1.6, 1.7. But yeah, 1.7 watts running, so it's the same power consumption. And then turn it off, it goes back to 1.4. I mean, it's 0.3 watts. The killer is the 1.4 watts. So yeah, if I have this scale and the other one running at the same time, it's going to be 2 watts. And then if this one's left on, it's 1.7. And then if both of them are off, it goes down to 1.4. It doesn't make a lot of sense to turn this one on and off. Plus, I was worried about the switch. If I start wearing this switch out, it's a little bit harder to repair, I think. Uh, just turn it on, leave it on. So it must not be a very high quality power supply. I mean, it's UL listed and all that, but they probably didn't design this for low standby power. Probably just wasn't a concern of theirs. We'll get the UL listing and make it cheap. So that's probably what they did. I mean, it works, but it burns up a fair bit of power and I can feel it's warm just from plugged in for 10-15 minutes. So anyway, I thought I'd show you that standby power, 300 milliwatts for the scale when it's on, which is really, really good. And then 300 milliwatts for the big scale, and then this guy uses about one and a half watts by itself. This one uses two and a half times the power that the two scales use just for the power supply, so that's just not very efficient. So yeah, time to get rid of this, so I think I need to start running my DC circuits up in the attic. So I'll show you that in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that, and as always, thanks for watching.